Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff and another beautiful day here on Funland. We have not a lot going on on Funland, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go visit Luna, have a little surprise dream time, maybe get some inspiration. But before we go ahead and get that started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It gets us shown out to a lot more people, helps us bring content like this to you every day, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload. With that being said, let's get today started. All right, hello again. It's all about Luna's choice today. I'm needing some inspiration now that Funland is completely torn apart and pretty much flattened out with nothing going on. So I thought I'd let Luna surprise us. We would check out some islands, maybe grab some inspiration that we can bring back with us. And with that being said, we're on our first island now. We are visiting the island of Palm Isle. Which, again, this is Luna's choice. I just said surprise me. So we are very surprised. Coming off the airport right away. I like the little city district. I like how each house is lined up. It's got its little yard. Very cute. What is this? Very cool. Just a little relax area, I'm guessing. Tiff. Lots of customs put down. This is cute. It's like a little cafe seating area by the water. Very cute. The orchard area onto the beach. Which looks like a little tiki bar type deal with the little benches and the little stalls. Very cute. This item, a bunch of trees, and within the trees, a bunch of dresses. That's interesting. And then a lot of music and microphones, I guess, for any announcements that need to be made on Palm Isle. Let's go across the bridge, check it out. This is cute. They got the little park area, little seats for everybody, pools, basketball. That's cute. More yards using a lot of the same fencing. I like that. I like their little pathway. It's very cheery and pink. Very cute. The beach with the hammock and all the lamps. That must be really pretty at night. They've got their little DIY crafting area. Very cute. I like this a little fishing area, a little pier. And I love that, the see-through floor. Where it looks like the water is underneath the glass where you're sitting. That's really, really cool. Little picnic area. I love all the pink. That's very cute. Very cute. Oh, I like the flowers. That's a really nice custom. This is a very, very cute little island. I like it. What is this? Furniture shop. Oh, so... And then the DIY shop. So they must invite people over. A lot... 300 bells per recipe DIY shop. Yeah, so they must have people over and have sales. Selling furniture, DIYs, whatnot. That's always fun. I love to go visit those. All right, little park type area. Lots of open space. I like this path, very cute. I like it. It's a rustic, simple island. Really neat. Oh, I like the Statue of Liberty with the carnations. Really cute. All right. Well, I'm going to hop back into bed and I'm going to let Luna decide on our next destination. So I will see you on the next island. All right. We are on the next island of Luna's choice. It is the island of Munchkin. And it is nighttime here on Munchkin. And I love nighttime tours. So let's get it started. Right away, I love little customs on the grass. The little flowers everywhere, super, super cute. I like the little yard, how it's all fenced in individually. 
that's something to think of. Like I said, I wanted to make the houses on Funland part of everything. Maybe making them their own little actual city area might be something to think of with its own little fencing. And oh, this is cute. I like the little customs on the ground here too. And the fencing, really, really cute. Munchkin is just a cute little island. I like the same flower pattern on the paths. Looks like they've got a gym slash game room area, outdoor fun area over here. That's very cute. Moving along towards the museum. I like this. I like the fossils outside. I think that's really, really cute. I saw this right away. I love when people have the entire skeletons built outside. Really cool. I like that. Keep moving along through Munchkin. Oh, star fragments put down. That's cute. I like that. A little picnic area. Has the little umbrella set out, the little lantern, surfboards, beach area, very cute. I like that. Little games board, something to play outside by the water, that's cute. I love all the flowers everywhere. Very cute. Moving on. Let's keep going. Let's go up top. More villager houses. Very, very cute setup. Their own little yards. Oh no, a graveyard with the shovel in it. That's cute. With the little black flower beside it. That's sad and cute all at the same time. Saw a ramp up here. Let's see what's up top. Looks like this is definitely where they're farming their bamboo trees. Bamboo forest up here. I like the lanterns, the little waterfalls. Very cute. Come down to another picnic area. I love how they customize the outdoor tables and benches. That's really, really cute. I like that. Definitely a cute little picnic area. Same thing over here. It's like a little mystic area. It's got the star fragments. They have the planet pillows on the chairs. Very cute. Oh, I love these screens. They're so pretty. Keep moving through Munchkin. Into the camping area. I like that they have the music and the amps and everything all set out. What's camping without music? Very cute. Up top, I like this too. Just a very quiet zen area to relax. I like the dragonfly design on the simple panels. Very cute. Little pond up top. Very, very, very cute. I like little areas like that. Definitely take some inspiration from that. It's very, very cute. Tons of flowers everywhere and lots of little like picnic areas. Munchkin's a cute little island. Keep moving again back through the campsite. And back down into the park. Very, very cute. Kids park set up. Oh. That's a bug, big bug. The little springy ride-ons, the cart banners. I like the little colorful pool, very cute. Cute little park area, I like that. Little shelf stool, all pretty. Very, very cute. Simple beaches just made for relaxing for sure. Surfboards, 
some camping cots. Really cute though. I really, really, really like that. Got a little zen type area over here with the bamboo. Munchkin is a very cute little island, I have to say. I'm going to take a lot of inspiration from Munchkin, but I think it's time to head back to Luna and let's check out one more island and I will catch up with you there. All right, we have landed on our next dream island surprise from Luna. We are in Port Haven, so let's get off this airport right into Port Haven and check it out. Right away, you come off into this beautiful like garden square i love that it's a beautiful way to enter onto somebody's island i like the mix of the bamboo with the fruit trees the lights i wish it wasn't raining but you can't control the weather it is beautiful though great way to start port haven's trip then you come right on to what looks like a little boardwalk i love the street pianos so cute i'm in the market for an upright piano. I haven't found one yet, but when one comes available at my store, I can't wait to create my own street piano and find some use for it. So, inspiration taken there. I love the little boardwalk. This is so cute. There's lots of little treats and cakes and snacks and coffee. The cotton candy, more fountain seating. This is really, really cute some rides then you have a little picnic camping on the beach area with the little sand castle this is really really cute this is a very good start to port haven let's keep going i'm gonna go across the bridge here follow the paths i love all the mush items so this is really really cute Lots of pathways. I love that. This is very, very rustic island, and I like that. Lots of waterways and ponds. Lots of... My oh, no. That... I, I don't know. If that's... Wow. That scared me. Here I am talking about how sweet and rustic it is, and it's... There's some blood going into the well. Still a very cool custom, and still beautifully rustic, so I'm gonna continue with that. I love the stepping stones covered in plants and moss, super cute. The sunken waterfall here is absolutely beautiful. I love this little area, this is really, really cute. Tons of inspiration to be taken from that. Oh, and it leads right onto their campground. How cute is that? That's so nice. I love that. I love the picnic on the beach with the little ukulele. All the fishing stuff out on the dock. So nice. I love the path work all through here as well. Really, really nice. I like how simple the beaches are, too. Couple little hammocks. Oh, look at the heart-shaped sand over here with the palm tree. How cute. That's adorable. Little teddy bear picnic set up on the edge of the water. And over here you have your little pirate's area with your anchor, some treasure, some lights. More sunken waterfalls, really beautiful, right by the museum. I love that idea. Let's go up top. You've got Luigi's custom over here by little altar. I love that. That's really cute. Fort Haven is very cool. I like the little bridge. I like the Nova Stars actually on the Turkey Day planter stands. That's cute. Leading into the museum with sunken waterfalls. What a cute little entrance. I like that a lot. That's really, really nice. What is that? An eviction notice! Oh no! That's so funny. 
Okay, that's so cute. I feel- wait, who's being evicted? Need to see. Whose house are we at? Oh no, Axel's being evicted. That's upsetting. Sorry, Axel. That's too funny, though. I love that. What a great island this is. Port Haven is a lot of fun. I like the terraforming, which is something, like I said, that I really want to get into trying more on our island. So definitely taking inspiration from that. I love this little picnic spot. You can see the secret beach from here is all set up. Can we get to it from here? Oh, you can. How cute. It's got a little wetsuit set out. I love that. That's really cute. More pathways. Oh, meringue! We have meringue back on Funland. Again with the sunken waterfall and the beautiful terraforming. I am taking a lot of inspiration from Port Haven for sure. How cute. I love this. Let's go up here across the bridge. Oh, this is for shooting stars. It's got the little sign up so you can come up here. Oh, yeah, it's got the little telescope. You can sit. I love these little fire pits. I haven't seen one yet, but I want one so badly. They're so cute. But that is an awesome place to look for shooting stars. Really cute idea. Love that. I see a little mystic area down here. I love the waterfall going off the back. This whole island is great. They put a lot of time and effort into this. I love all the little areas, all the terraforming. Very cute. Lots of trees, which I love. And the flowers. So pretty. Simple, simple beaches. Oh, neat! I feel like I shouldn't be walking on that. I think it feels like a shrine. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little design in the sand with the little teddy bears camping. That's so great. Taking lots of inspiration from that. That's so cute. This has been probably one of the better dreams that Luna has sent me on. I'm taking a lot away from Port Haven. What a great island. Really, really cute. A lot of fun to visit. Really well done. Really rustic areas. I love all the pathways, the mush stuff. We're going to look past the bloody footprints. Oh, did you see up here? Look at them. Cute little guys holding the star fragments. How cute is that? That is probably one of the cutest customs I've seen. That's adorable. I love it. What an awesome island. This was a really fun visit. That was a really good surprise, Luna. Well, I'm going to go ahead. And I'm probably going to walk around here for a little bit longer, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks so much for dreaming up some inspiration with me and Luna, checking out some surprise islands. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.